hello and welcome today we are going to work on this part we are gonna make this part from scratch which is trainer let's begin so I'm gonna go to my account first click the create button document and I'm gonna name it trainer and say it okay first go check the um, workspace units from the document menu workspace units make sure them change it to millimeter two decimal point degree two decimal point from pound to gram and two decimal point and say okay all right I'm gonna start from the top view I'm gonna click the top sketch I'm gonna click the top on the cube I'm going to use center point circle. I'm going to draw one circle. I'm going to draw one more. Then I'm going to dimension it. I'm going to click the dimension tool. Dimension of this diameter of this circle is supposed to be 100 millimeter. And distance between these two is supposed to be three millimeter all right now both of them are fully constrained I'm gonna click the end sketch I'm gonna click the extrude I'm gonna choose this entity and the extrusion amount is supposed to be 200 millimeter and say okay and we're gonna click the isometric view Okay, we have the first cylindrical, cylindrical shape is completed. Now I'm going to click the sketch and I want to work on the right view to make the first removal extrusion. I'm going to click the right on the cube. I'm going to use center point circle again. And I'm going to draw a circle here and dimension it diameter of this circle is supposed to be 12 millimeter and distance from here to here from the center is supposed to be 20 millimeter it looks like the circle is this on the surface of the cylinder but it is not so i'm gonna just click the right on my mouse and I'm gonna just hover it and I want to show you guys where the circle is look guys the circle is here but it is not matter we can still complete the object so I'm gonna click the isometric again so since the sketch is completely black which is fully constrained fully defined I'm gonna click and sketch and I'm gonna click the extrude and I need to choose that circle so I'm going to just zoom in and I'm going to choose that circle and instead of face of sketch I'm going to click the remove and I'm going to change it blind to through all and I'm going to click OK I'm going to click the isometric let's see we have the hole here guys it is completed now we made it one now we are gonna use a linear pattern so where is the linear pattern is linear pattern here I'm gonna click the linear pattern so instead of part pattern I need to change it to feature pattern and I need to find that feature that I just make the hole right so I'm gonna just move the object here zoom and I'm gonna click that feature and the direction so where the direction is supposed to go guys since the cylindrical face uh, goes from here bottom to top so I just need to choose as a plane for the direction I'm gonna choose the top plane and as you can see the direction is automatically correct as you can see I just make the one 
um, two of them. But how many do I need? I need nine of them. And the distance between each one is supposed to be 20 millimeter. That's 20. And I need nine of them. And I click the enter. For clicking the green button, as you can see, it looks perfect. So I'm going to click the green button. And the first part is completed. Now, let's use the circular pattern now. I'm going to click here and choose the circular pattern. From the part pattern, we are going to choose the feature pattern. Let's move the so let's choose the first feature and we need to choose also for the feature part we need to choose the linear so we need to choose one more okay linear panel so we choose all the all the circles now so we click the one of the um, extrusion on the first one and we click on the top one and we choose all we chose all the uh, circles the holes now axis of the pattern i'm going to choose i'm going to click here first i'm going to click the circle outer circle instead of four how many do i need 16 of them enter let's check it yeah it is perfect and I'm going to click the green button. And I'm going to click the isometric. Let's see how it looks like. Perfect. Now let's assign the material. So part one, right click. Assign material. Choose carbon steel. Say OK. And now click the display mass, mass properties. Choose the part one. If you see 1051 gram, it means your um, object is correct. Have a wonderful day.